I'll advise you just take out some time of your day if you are not uh, if you have not prepared any yeah. resume specific projects and then try to build them. Uh, does not matter if you are building hundred projects, make three, but try to have good grasp on what you are making. Try to like uh, be uh, very much fluent in what you are uh, trying to uh, make in the project while conveying to others. Uh, try to explore how to design systems, what actually practically designing a system is, and all those things. That thing actually helped me a lot in interviews because. Hi guys, welcome to Acquire Jobs YouTube channel. My name is Garima, and uh, I am an instructor and mentor at Acquire Jobs. So today we have an amazing guest with us named Arithik, and he is an SDE at Microsoft since last one year. So we will talk to him about the entire process of getting selected by Microsoft. Hopefully, we all get to learn a lot from this. So let's welcome Arithik. Yeah, first of all, congratulations for getting selected in Microsoft. How are you feeling? Awesome. Thank you for our conversation. <laughs> okay, so I'll start from the very beginning. So, how did you first develop interest in programming? Okay, yeah, uh, so I was introduced to programming in my school days and college, uh, like in my twelfth. But uh, that time I did not use, like see it as very something I did uh, regularly. But when I went to college, I uh, explored that dimension, uh, get, uh, got familiar with sites like. Geeks for Geeks, Geek Code, Interview Bit, and then started reading articles and gradually my interest developed more and started more of coding and developing projects. So. Okay, so you don't have any prior, ex you didn't have any prior experience for programming before college or did you? I had, but uh, like that was very limited to, uh, like in school days we had very limited uh, programming knowledge, uh, we do not know uh, what this array strings and what this uh, uh, like programming language will actually translate to in actual software or those things. So do not have a very wide idea. Had the very basic uh, knowledge of it, which uh, like uh, primary schools or secondary schools. Okay, got it. So yeah, how did Microsoft happen? Okay, uh, so uh, I was doing my uh, like BSA practices and my resume building. Uh, from my second year and third years, uh, when I uh, it, it was around in uh, my second years, uh, uh, when I completed my second year, so it, uh, I joined uh, just one into the third year, uh, fifth semester, which is of uh, BTEC. So that time I came across a post at Microsoft career site that there is an opening for software engineering intern. Uh, I thought let's uh, apply for it. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I applied for it uh, and I received the uh, uh, link for the online coding test, which consisted of three programming questions or uh, DSA based. Uh, I was like, uh, since I was practicing DSA, so that round uh, I was able to clear out. And then there was an online one hour interview uh, with, the, uh, with a software engineer at Microsoft. Uh, that interview was more focused on my resume, uh, my DSA, and uh, like more of uh, the tech and like OOPs, operating systems, networking, so some bit of these topics. And then I was invited for an on site interview at Microsoft Hyderabad campus, uh, completely sponsored by Microsoft. Uh, I went to the campus uh, there. I had uh, so actually on in the on sites, uh, there are generally three interviews. Uh, so, first two are technical, and then uh, the last one is a semi-technical HR kind of interview. You may get uh, technical questions, uh, but you may also see HR questions as well. So the first round is more on DSA and resume, uh, same as uh, same as that of online uh, interview. Uh, the second round uh, was actually on system design, uh, so which uh, no one was expecting uh, since it was an intern course. So most of the students that have uh, come for the interview were not uh, with, uh, like uh, expecting a system design round to happen. Yeah. But uh, since I was uh, like preparing projects side by side and I had like some idea of system design, watched YouTube videos on that. So as uh, like that is around uh, 45 minutes on our uh, interview again, uh, and I was able to clear that as well. And then, uh, then there is there was a uh, small discussion. Uh, tech and HR kind of thing. No, uh, really, nothing related to uh, you know, more coding or uh, uh, projects or design. Um, uh, generic technical questions like what would you uh, want to enhance in WhatsApp or what would be a new feature that you would like to see in YouTube 
or some some sort of th- uh, those questions and uh, then there were like few uh, questions uh, like how uh, like why do you want to be at microsoft uh, what is the thing that you like about microsoft uh, if you are selected for in turn uh, like how would you spend around two months apart from uh, working on your projects and so on. and okay. in turn happened after the internship got over again i had to appear for three set of interviews uh for uh, the final offer so after i did my inter- internship then the same uh, pattern was there first round was dsc and resume based second round was for system design and then final round was a chart plus uh, technical okay so for your internship you directly applied on ca- careers portal there was no referral or anything like that no, no. okay got it so uh, what do you think helped you the most in uh, you know getting an internship at microsoft Uh, so, uh, uh, so most of the time I see everyone advises you to do DSA. So that is uh, like for sure much that uh, you have to practice DSA to lead board a GPS interview with that all stuffs you have to anyway do. The second thing that helped me the most that I was uh, always curious about exploring all the other things apart from DSA, uh, like how to build an Android app, how to, how does the site work? Uh, normal just I used to browse the same thing in YouTube search. and see okay what is front end thing what is back end uh, not uh, completely trying to dive deep into the tech stack and try to build something out but uh, try to explore how to design systems uh, what uh, how what actually practically designing a system is and all those things that thing actually helped me a lot in interviews because uh, dsa i was prepared uh, like operating systems networking oops all these concepts i had prepared but this uh, the design things and all the question that i got in that round uh i was able to uh, answer them based on the explanations that i did uh, and all of them uh, since there is no right and wrong answers for this question uh, so like it will come from your exploration so that helped me a uh, lot apart from like the normal dsa practice so were there a lot of questions based on system design that you thought were technical enough that if a person who is not familiar with system design won't be able to answer uh no i don't think uh, that that is to check on how you actually uh, do it technically uh, that is to see how you think it actually uh, let's say i tell you to uh, so uh, let's say i give you a problem of uh, make a messaging system uh, so it does not necessarily mean that you have to uh, like answer in technical side that i'll use so and so database i'll use so and so uh, uh, text stack to build it but more of like how you can think of this is a message that I'll, that will be sent from this person i'll pass it to my uh, store it in my database and pass it to some other uh, person so just to check the flow whether you are able to think in that way or not okay got it so what do you think would be the strategy for anyone for the selection process at microsoft okay uh, so i'd advise that you have, you have to focus on four aspects first is dsa that is uh, dsa object oriented programming uh operating systems networking all this uh, subjects that you uh, like see tons of suggestions on youtube and everywhere that everyone advises you to do this thing so this is for sure much that you have to do this second thing is uh, try to communicate uh, so i actually like while i was uh, in school days i used to participate in uh, debates extemporaneous and used to speak a lot but when i came to college and when i was practicing this so this thing uh, got out of me and when i started appearing for interviews i uh, realized that okay uh, i have to set back the flow so uh, try to communicate uh, with your like try to explain a problem let's say to your friend or someone it right? try to explain something so that will help you communicate better in an interview uh, so communication is the second thing third thing is try to explore things uh, like don't get uh, overwhelmed with things like uh, okay this is front end back end system design uh so don't get overwhelmed by hearing the terms try to explore all of these things and uh fourth thing is like just be positive uh, so i had the attitude ki uh if you am seeing a post and i feel like okay this is something that i can uh, like uh, just give a try at least go for it and have that positive thing in mind that will uh, that the interview will also be able to see in the interviews and uh, definitely you will see the outcome at some point okay Okay, I yeah, got it. So, anything that you would advise other people to stay consistent. Okay. Like, uh, one thing uh, is like uh, doing the same thing that I told you four steps that this is the thing that you have to do, but uh, doing it continuously for let's say six months a year or 
uh, one and a half year maybe like okay this uh, you may get bored but uh, trust me the rewards that you get afterwards when you complete this entire process you get the offer you get selected and uh, you go for that job uh, that is like truly amazing uh, so i have been uh, it has been a one year at my job and uh, every day has been a new day for me at the job and every day i feel the same energetic way to when i go to my uh, office uh, ever so that is truly rewarding so uh, the one one year uh, years work that hard work that you will do that is definitely rewarding so trust the process and uh, like be positive for the outcome okay okay yeah so how how did your project help you in getting selected at microsoft okay uh, so in uh, so i started building small small projects when i was in my late first year so i thought ki okay i have i do some dsa but uh, okay let's try to build something so there are tons of courses on udemy coursera uh, udacity right so i just tried to like go for the free one because a uh, student i had limited resources so uh, whatever i uh, like used to see okay this is a project that they are trying to build let me build it in my system so i tried to build that uh, project and when i showed that my friends and uh, seniors so they gave me a good feedback okay this is something you are trying out and that's good so you can improve on this by doing this and so i received those suggestions and gradually like uh, i did not realize that i had made seven eight projects by uh, the time i was uh, making my resumes for internships so that helped me a lot so uh, resumes uh, in resume you your like dsa profiles are like one thing that will help you second thing that matters the most is your projects so projects are very very important uh, so you uh, like i'll advise you just take out some time of your day if you are not uh, if you have not prepared any resume specific projects and then try to build them uh, does not matter if you are building 100 projects make three but try to have good grasp on what you are making try to like uh, Be uh, very much fluent in what you are uh, trying to uh, make in the project while conveying to others. Same okay. How did you manage everything? Like you know, making projects, preparing for projects, DSA, oh, system design, and all of these things, and just like before internship. Okay. Uh, so DSA is something that uh, was scheduled. Like I have to practice uh, two to three hours uh, minimum a day. Like, so mm-hmm. that I used to follow. Ki uh, two to three hours. and apart from that this exploration wala part system is and all this i just used to take uh, i just used to think in mind that every week i'll at least watch three videos on this uh, so that was one thing that i had in mind or sometimes i used to keep it like i'll watch one video a day okay 20 minutes to 15 minutes okay. video a day and then uh, i followed that thing and this was it used to be random like i came back from my lunch i'm sitting idle so let's watch a 15 minutes video uh, and then uh, uh, actually after 6 months i realized okay i've learned so many things uh um, just by spending 15 minutes of my day uh, from uh, using the time that i would anyway be watching any youtube video or uh, playing yeah. some <laughs> okay okay yeah thank you so much i hope you all enjoyed the video please like subscribe and comment and let us know what part of interview inspired you the most thank you have a good day and keep learning